check for advanced restart button it's available here you can directly boot into recovery if you don't have that you can press the volume up button and power button to boot into recovery and use the latest recovery in this case i am using orange fox recovery for redmi note 7 pro you can use pitch black recovery also twrp also you can use but mostly people use this orange fox recovery latest version for redmi note 7 pro this is the flashing method as you can see it's booted into orange fox recovery go to delete here i mean wipe section select dalvik catch and system vendor and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select this file section wherever you downloaded the rom zip file firmware first always flash the firmware here the latest firmware for redmi note 7 pro is 12.5.1 miui 12.5.1 that's the firmware flash the firmware first always again go to home section and select the rom zip file i'm here showcasing the Darfish Shinju Violet 2022 5.6 you can see here this is the latest build available let me get a little bit closer such that you can understand as you can see with May security patch and the build date also you can see here it takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM wait until it gets flashed as you can see the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully once that has been flashed again go to home section here and flash this if disable v3 done if you use micro sd card you can format the data and skip this last method and again go to home section here and select this one menu and select reboot and select to system this is the flashing method if you use same firmware and if you use same rom zip file and if you use the same recovery then you will never face any problems follow the same method and in this video we are going to explain everything in in detail regarding this Darfish Shinju ROM, the latest ROM for Redmi Note 7 Pro. Everything will be explained in detail. Stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video. Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfx Redmi Note 7 Pro custom rom reviews and this is the darfish os with android version 12 l and the version is official shinju violet you can see the build date here and change lock you can press and see here maintainer and android security patches may 5th 2022 that's the latest security patch available for any android device right now and kernel version you can see here 4.14.190 excalibur plus kernel has been used and this is the may 6th latest build and scenic status you can see here enforcing and android version is 12 l you can see here it shows as 12 l and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can see here the maximum is 132 and average is 128 and minimum is 120 million gips and there is no cpu throttling has been detected this is really good considering this particular rom for redmi note 7 pro and you can see here swiping between apps is very smooth enough and regarding dialer you get direct video call feature and call recording also but it will announce the other person that you are recording the call and there is no problem regarding earpiece also and let's see the benchmark results one by one let me show you with geekbench scores here the single and multiple multi-score performance is very good here the single score is 502 and multi-score is 1476 and the kernel used here is Excalibur plus kernel has been used. This is very good score for Snapdragon 675. Even today, it's dominating towards Snapdragon 732 with custom ROMs. This is very good, and uh, you can see here the pill length is very good. And this is stock type ROM. And let's see, enter to benchmark results in this particular ROM Shinju version this is on 2 lakh 82,500 sorry 354 and temperature raise was just 1.4 degrees Celsius and 3 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing that's very good considering it's Snapdragon 675 again I'm telling and my variant is 6 GB 128 GB variant 
that too makes difference if you have 4 gb 64 gb may not be the same score maybe sometimes higher also it depends guys and regarding the basic things like drm info you get level 1 certification you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that's not the problem here and even the safety net status let me check out this is an official build there are two versions shinju this is version released recently and you can see here safety net status get passed you can use all the applications like payment applications like google pay phone pay all are going to working fine no problem regarding that now the basic thing is the camera and you get anx camera as a pre-installed camera here all the features are working fine you can see here even the portrait mode and 48 megapixel mode everything is working fine here no problem regarding that as you can see in the more you get these kind of options selfie video up to 4k 30 fps options are available if you want you can use this gcam ports any other gcam ports i am just using this ano build gcam if you want you can use any other gcam ports all are working fine for this particular dubfest os and uh, this are the settings and this is a quick settings panel let me show you as you can see it based upon this entire theme will be changed based upon your wallpaper if you change the wallpaper you get all the options and regarding widgets you get and 12 widgets let me show here as you can see you can drag and add the widgets from here if you want to change further also you can use it and you can reduce the size also this is and 12 l now currently everything is working fine as you can see into the settings you get this kind of launcher here icon pack you can change notification dots you need to turn on from a dark launcher hello now the notification dots has been enabled icon size you can increase font size and some of this app drawer customization miscellaneous customization there is little bit of customization available in this particular launcher and this of the home screen as i said before now let's move into settings and see and you get edit option here in the quick settings as you can see there are plenty of options and so you can see the scrolling speeds here it's fine enough and smooth enough that's really important in any particular custom rom and this is a power button you get advanced restart button to directly boot into recovery or system and this is the settings here you get, you get apps and into default apps you can change if you want to change the home launcher to some other launcher like pixel launcher any other launcher you can do from here similarly to other default apps and game space if you want you can enable from here disable heads up some of the options you can see here disable swipe in the screenshot like that you can add from here whenever you want to play the game this is the options available special app access is also given and dark space here you get plenty of customization in this particular rom battery settings you can change the battery style and battery percentage if you want you can enable that you can hide also and there is a toggle colorful battery icon you can see here it's in green color and battery bar location also you can enable and if you enable that you will get plenty of customization again and carrier level you get carrier lo location and custom carrier label also you can enable from this particular rom and clock and date settings are given plenty of customization available here you can see here status bar icon traffic indicators are also given miscellaneous settings there is a dub first logo you can see here left hand corner and colored icons is given you can't customize the logo here just you need to enable dub first that's how it is and roaming indicator a small mobile type icon so call strength icons print of customization you can read on the screen here if you swipe like that you get notification customization plenty are given here and even the quick settings customizations are also given plenty are given animation style duration battery everything you can change here if you swipe again you will get lock screen shortcuts lock screen ui get error and success vibration and disable ripple effect print of options are given media art blur level you can adjust ambient always on display also you can customize from here if you swipe again you get battery settings battery charging light customization monet engine use black thing enable this in order to get a pitch black condition now let me show you the dark thing as you can see now it's in pitch black condition if you don't have this option for example this use black theme then it wouldn't be in a pitch black condition that you need to keep in mind this is very important feature for me at least if you disable that let me disable the dark thing as you can see it's in pitch black condition completely if you just disable this you won't get that hence you need to use this and custom brightness scale custom color you can use here 
that's available and i can pack signal i can second shape wi-fi icon i can pack everything you can customize from here these are the customizations available even the navigation bar is given pulse notifications customization you get these things these are the customization you get in the dark space and coming to battery and battery usage it hasn't recorded for first boot it hasn't recorded and use pixel battery status provided it's available battery charging warning battery saver you get extreme battery saver yes you get extreme battery saver here all under 12 l based rom this is and you can block the sensors this very cool interesting and battery temperature you can see idle manager you can see from here sound settings you get all the basic settings including with haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here and you can use the direct sound settings here me sound enhancer is given you can choose the headphone type and preset from here now we're moving into display here are the plenty of options given as you can see extra dim feature adaptive brightness working fine live display is given screen timeout you can set it dark theme as i said before you need to enable that in miscellaneous settings font size display size and smallest width you can adjust from here by default it kept to natural or adaptive keep it boosted or saturated it looks a little bit better compared to those things and you can enable the refresh sorry refresh rate from here you can see here up to 60 hertz it can show here that's fine tap to wake and wake on plug full screen apps have and displays are given full screen apps whenever certain apps you need to be played in full screen then you can enable from here by default it will be playing in full screen but if you have any problem you can come here and check out and accessibility menu it's a handy feature just enable this you can use this buttons as you can see without using as you can see without using lock screen i unlock the smartphone locked the smartphone and you can see the face unlock how quick it is and this is the handy feature you can increase the volume you can even decrease the volume from here without using the actual button this is a handy feature i will always speak about this and switch axis plenty of options are given you can see from here location also working fine and privacy settings and the tall styles are given and uh, coming into system before that security yes you get fingerprint unlock face unlock and even the app locker is also available here confirm as you can see there are plenty of options even in the app locker product apps auto lock timeout enable biometrics for unlocking you can choose from here smart lock is given and encryption and credentials phone is not encrypted it means we obviously we flash f disabler then it's not encrypted and let me show you the fingerprint unlock it's fast enough to unlock your smartphone let me show you just tap gets unlocked once again just tap it's get unlocked just tap gets unlocked let me show you the face unlock also you can see here it's very very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock these two things are very necessary for any custom rom and even app locker is given that's very good and into settings into system into gestures and keys into system navigation you can see the pill how beautifully it is located and visible because of these two options you can increase the pill radiant and even the pill radius it should be higher okay even if it is lower also it's visible that's good thing and you get plenty of customization in this room regarding the pill also that i really liked it and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and uh, let me show you the bjmi gameplay here how it handles in this particular room we will you won't get any extreme settings as we see in poco xcr some other devices with this similar rom they will give extreme settings in miscellaneous but not in this violet i mean redmi note 7 pro let's see what all the graphic settings and how it handles this is a bgmi gameplay let me show you the graphic settings in this particular rom you get just smooth plus ultra nothing fancy here but if you know how to enable high fps then it would be better i guess and you can see here how it handles in Sanok Bootcamp and also I will show you the 3DM match also. And loudness also it's loud enough. You can see here I kept to 85% almost 100%. Into the boot camp. You can see here definitely playable 
but 60 fps would be even better because i make videos on poco x3 also there i will get with similar rom i get 60 fps unlocked directly within miscellaneous settings you need to enable option that's missing in this particular smartphone i mean violet that would have been added then it would be even better but touch response is very smooth in this rom let me increase the volume You can see here that's how it makes difference if you play with 60 fps it would have been easy again with same graphic settings let me show you smoothless ultra only in the tdm the touch response is very good that i can notice because i test each and every rom this is having a little bit better many people watching my videos but not subscribing to my channel hit that subscribe button guys and if you like the video give it a like i will be motivated if you like the video okay i will come back and this is the experience with bgma if you have high fps count it would be even better and you can see here this is the home setup and this is the app drawer everything is working fine you can definitely try it out as a daily driver even you can consider this as a gaming rom and if you want to change kernel also you can try it out but it won't make any difference as of now it's very good and you can see here recent apps you can clear all you can take screenshot ram management would not be open yes obviously it was open long ago and let me show you the charging animation This is how the wobbling effect you get. It shows charging slowly. Quite obvious it is. We have 10 watt charger support only for Redmi Note 7 Pro. And uh, that's all guys in this video. If you like the video, give it a like. And uh, thank you for watching guys. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.